This story comes to us from MSN.com. Out of Detroit, <clears throat> a police officer and a suspect were both killed in a shooting on Detroit's west side. And the officer was fatally shot at about 7.40 p.m. after police responded to a report of shots fired. Police then came upon a suspect who had exited a building armed with a gun, according to the Detroit Police Department. Four officers opened fire on the suspect, striking him multiple times. The wounded officer was rushed to a hospital where he died. Police identified the officer as Lauren Quartz and the suspect as 19-year-old Imani Mac Davis. Now, uh, Detroit Police Chief James White said in a release, This is a somber day for the Detroit Police Department. Officer Quartz is without a doubt a hero to his family and his community as he gave the ultimate sacrifice of his life in service to others. He will always be remembered as a beloved officer, husband, and father to his two children. Quartz was a five-year veteran whose own father had also served the department. So he was a cop son. Um, Chief White said he comes from a long history of law enforcement officers. His father was recently retired police officer in the department as well. Police said Thursday that Court's partner, Officer Amanda Hudgens, immediately provided him with aid, selflessly putting her own life at risk. Now, the details of the, the shooting are unclear. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan said in a statement, The senseless violence ravaging our country has hit far too close to home tonight. Absolutely. We owe a debt of gratitude to our fallen officer, a debt that we can never repay. He gave his life to serve his city and keep his fellow Detroiters safe. Our entire city is holding his family in our hearts tonight and we'll be with them every step of the way in the difficult days ahead. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer honored courts in a statement writing that the state is heartbroken by his death and said he loved his job and put on his uniform every day to keep his community safe. Yesterday, he made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Officer Quartz was a second-generation Detroit police officer. He followed his father's footsteps and was a hero to all those who knew him, especially his wife and kids. A lot of the politicians want to tighten the laws on gun ownership and some even want to create laws where only the police are allowed to own guns. That's a violation of the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. But also tighten the, uh, the tighten laws on, on gun ownership. Who suffers? The victims. Because you think the criminals care about gun laws? That's what they want to do. But something has to break. Something has to happen that we can stop this senseless violence going on. What can we do? Let's put our heads together.